Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Total Tank Simulator. It has been quite a while since we finished this series, or rather, we didn't finish it, but we finished up the Soviet Union story. I know we did the United Kingdom, the Soviet Union. I think we finished Germany. I know we had an issue with Italy. The U.S. is still a problem. I kind of gave up on them, to be honest. So I think all that we really have left is Italy, Poland, and France. So we're going to go ahead and do Poland. I don't think we've done Poland yet, so let's start them off. Uh, Alrighty, Act 1. The German army has crossed our borders. We're forced to defend this holy motherland. We shall carry out our defense in four phases. In each, you will be able to decide to take on a mission or to retreat. Your highest priority must retain winning, or remain winning the final battle. A lesser skilled commander could secure a minor victory. The only, only the final mission is required for that. However, you and our lesser commander are you. Winning four battles would be a major victory for us. Win all the battles and we shall be... have. Yeah, we will be victorious, whatever. Yay. Heard enough of them. Alright. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we can... How do you skip a fight? Oh, uh, they're gonna do this shit on us. Okay, hold on. Alrighty, so... Uh, we're doing more wave shit. Um, I'm actually beginning to... Should I even bother with... Eh, I'm not even gonna bother with those guys. Uh, artillery probably is gonna be a good idea. So just in case, let's get... A few dudes... Um, I already have a feeling I know how this one's gonna end. Unless we're gonna do some alternate history shit where the Polish beat the Germans and joined by the Allies, we push into uh, Germany from like the very beginning. Yeah, that's an that's an interesting idea right there. What would World War II have been like if the Polish turned the Germans around? Like they they had turned it around and pushed the Germans back. I wonder what because at that point the Soviet Union wouldn't have gotten involved so. Makes you wonder. Alright, and let's go for it. Because this can't end poorly. Did I play as the Polish yet? I don't think I did. I don't remember any of this. I don't remember. I remember playing as the Germans and pushing into the Polish. I remember that. I don't remember playing as, uh. Poland. Oh, you're, you're German. I've gotten so used to as, uh, playing as Germans that I forgot that I'm not German right now. Okay. Oh, wow. It's getting very loud. You guys know how I feel about games getting loud. It's not, not good. Not good. Oh, those are friendly tanks. I almost shot friendlies. Oh, we got infantry now. All right. Oh, I wonder, is the Polish tank smaller than those Italian tanks we were using? I kind of want to start up one of those deathmatch things just to see if there's that much of a difference in size. Because I feel like... I feel like you get, like, maybe two guys in here, at least. I, I, the the Italian tank was so friggin' small. I'm, I'd am i be shocked if you took these two guys in there. This tank? I, I think you could get maybe, like... It's said that pumpkins are bigger than this fucking thing. It is a tiny tank. Uh, where, oh, where are the Germans? Uh, Germany. There you are. Oh, I that pinged right off your armor. Wow, that's that's embarrassing. Okay. Uh, let us see. Where are you hiding? I, you know, I'm feeling pretty good about this. I'm feeling pretty good. This is the last wave. We're doing good. Granted, this is the beginning of the campaign. It's two acts, so... Yeah, you know, it's gonna be a... Push. Where the hell are they? Oh, it's infantry. That's why I'm like, where the fuck are these dudes? There, yep. Yeah, yep, yeah, that's about what... Yep. That's about what I expected. Okay. Anyway, and just for the sake of conversation. Um... If you guys been keeping up with Resident Evil 8, first of all, the trailer looked really good. Or rather, not the, the trailers have been looking really good. But then, um, that demo looked really wild. And then once I came out, 4chan and Reddit got really on top of that shit. And that big titty goth vampire chick is porn of her all over the place now. All right, so I figured I'd uh, finish my thought while I was uh, doing setup. But anyway, yeah, so the internet got really quick with that shit. I mean, the second she showed her face, the internet was like, yes, please. Um... <laughs> I'm not surprised. Let's face it. It's the fucking internet we're talking about. 
Um, just, just damn. Like, didn't even give the chick a chance to really show herself in the game yet. We don't even know what her. We don't even know what her name is, as far as I'm aware. Uh, or at least no one's specified her name yet. Um, all I know is she is a big titty gaff vampire bitch with wolverine claws. Oh, this is going to go poorly. Oh, I already lost. Unless my tanks can magically survive this somehow, I lost. Oh, yeah, orders. That's a thing, isn't that? Huh, I forgot. Okay, you hit... Wait. Is the, Pol is the Polish army in this game so bad that it can't even specify targets? Anyway, um... I'm actually really excited for this game to come out. On top of that, um... As of recording this morning, uh, they released the, not released, but they put up the collector's edition up for pre-order. I'm kind of salty that, despite how Resident Evil 3 turned out, I'm kind of salty I didn't get the uh, collector's edition for it because of the statues that it comes with. So, Resident Evil 2 came with Leon, Resident Evil 3 came with Jill, and Resident Evil 8 comes with uh, Chris. So, I would have gotten Chris, Leon, and Jill. Instead, I only got Leon and Chris, so I'm a little salty. Um, I looked on Amazon for the statues, and not just the statues. I'm sorry, the collector's editions. They're going for four, five hundred, like three fifty to four hundred dollars a piece. And I'm like, dude, GameStop sold that for one eighty. What are you doing? That's insane. I'm also, oh wow, Poland is getting friggin' spanked right now. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, I think all we've got left is maybe some minor planes, and wow. Like I said, absolutely spanked. Like, we were doing good there for a while. Yeah. Yeah, that's GG. Ow. Ow, that hurts. Okay, I'm going to try to do some upgrades and see if maybe I could fix this. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, and on to another fight. So, as I was saying, um... A little salty that I didn't get a chance to get uh, the Resident Evil 3's Collector's Edition, but it's absurd how much money scalpers are trying to sell it for on Amazon. Uh, if it was maybe... I, I'd push into 200. I, I would do 200 for it, but 3, 350, 400 is way too much, especially for that game. God, God no. Um, thankfully, I managed to get a pre-order for the PS4 version. By the way, for those of you that were looking for the PS5, PS5 copy, Chances are, if I know what the way things have been going with this game, it's very likely that... I, I haven't looked into this myself, but it's very likely that the PS4 version will work on 5, because they've been doing that for games. Um, I don't know if they will. I, I want to look into it myself, but I can't see why they wouldn't. I know they're not going to permanently do that. Eventually, they're going to stop it, but... Um, they might. I have no idea. Oh, so we won this one. Cool. Um... Anyway, also one more thing I want to point out about 8. If you guys look at the marketing on Steam for it, it changed. Uh, the picture that they had back then was just Chris looking kind of depressed. Now, it's actually a picture of Chris, but half of his face is a werewolf. So, considering we have vampires in this game now, and werewolves and vampires have always had a rivalry, and Chris is normally the protagonist, what's the likelihood that they're, the way they're writing this is that Chris comes off as the bad guy, but turns out to be a good guy, but he manages somehow also get infected and is now a werewolf. That might be a thing that comes in, because supposedly this is Chris's last game. This is the last time we will ever see Chris. Supposedly, he might end up dying. So, if that's the case, it makes sense. He got turned into a werewolf, and he pulls a Van Helsing, like in that movie, and kills the vamp bitch. Alrighty, I think we're set up and good to go. Um, I managed to get some... Did that artillery gun... Did I just see an artillery gun kill a tank? Only in Poland. God damn it. So far, we're doing good. Making some progress. Oh, transports. What the fuck are these? Can't tell if these are mediums or... Fuck, I'm out in the open repairing like an idiot. Okay, that works though. Killed a lot of guys. I don't even know how that happened, but okay. Um, any hoodle doodles. Um, I don't know what the fuck I just said. Anyway. Wait, there's something out there. What is that? Oh, it's artillery. 
Oh, great, I'm on fire. Great. Hey, you're an asshole, by the way, for doing that. I hope you realize that. There we go. Anyway. Um... Yeah, so I'm actually excited for Resident Evil 8. I can't see. This smoke is a bitch. Okay, there we go. I'm excited for Resident Evil 8. Supposedly, what was it? Uh, old enemies are going to return. Old friends are going to come back. So it seems like a bunch of returning characters as well as old characters. Oh, sorry. I'm an idiot. I'm speaking out of my ass right now. It sounds like a lot of old characters and new characters are going to be showing up. And what I wonder is, because let's face it, Capcom has been teasing us for a while now. When the hell is Wesker going to show up? I imagine if Wesker doesn't show up now, he's going to show up. Actually, considering current cast, that could theoretically work. I just thought of it. So Jake, we haven't seen from him since Resident Evil 6, right? We haven't seen Jake, and we, you know, we barely know Ethan. What's the chances that Chris is going to die, Wesker's going to show up at the very end, Jake is going to be like, what the fuck? Unless Jake is going to show up. I don't know if he is. It would be interesting if he did. Um, but, the, you know, the new tag team in this series is going to be, instead of Jill and Chris, but Pierce, not Pierce, uh, Pierce is dead, uh, Jake and Ethan. All right, so while I uh, set up these, I guess I can continue talking. So anyway, um... Yeah, I, I've been cutting in, in and out just because, you know, I've been trying to skip load screens and shit for you guys. But anyway, uh, for the thought, um, yeah, so what if Ethan and Jake are the new, like, kind of tag team, like how we had Chris and Jill or Leon and Ada? You know, what if uh, Chris dies? Jill and Chris are supposedly going to have some kind of conflict, or at least that's what Capcom wanted them to do. I don't necessarily know what the plan is for the two of them, if that's the case. But we'll see. We'll see going forward. Um, and that would be interesting and to have uh, Jake fight against his father. I mean, it's pretty typical father versus son, you know? So it's an interesting idea. Oh, Germany is beating my ass right now. It's the Stukas that are really giving me hell. It's definitely the Stukas. That's why I laid in with uh, AA. I'm hoping that hurts them, but so. Is our Air Force gone? Alright, so there's our guys. I think we're doing good. I actually want to see, where do we start off? Our guys are coming from that way. I think we still have some AA. Yeah, we still have AA working over the Stukas. So we might be able to... Oh, this is... Getting very fugazi. This is an if and an and a maybe. I wish this would work where if you shot them in the engine, they would actually do more damage. But right now, I feel like we're just tickling them. And so far, oddly enough, it seems like we're turning the, Ger the fight around. I was going to say turn the Germans around. Uh, no, we're turning this around with the Germans. We're pushing them back. Um, but they could if they... If I fuck up, they can still, you know... They can still screw me. What the hell's over here? Oh, it's just one little dude. Alright, let them chase after him. Hey, I'm gonna fucking drive. I think our problem right now is the Stukas. I think that's all that's up there right now. Yeah, that's all that we have up there that we gotta worry about. Other than that one asshole, we're good. So, so long as he dies within... Oh, clock is going up, not down. So, yeah, as long as he dies within the next 30 seconds. I mean, I can't imagine his fuel lasting him much longer. So, as long as we have tanks till then, we're good. But... Anyway, guys, that's my thought on Re that was. I know I'm jumping in and out, but that was my thought on Resident Evil 8. Uh, yeah, just for funsies, throw in the comment section below. Tell me what do you think. Did you guys manage to play the demo? Uh, do you know if uh, the four version will work on the five? Does anybody know that whether or not? Because I haven't heard anything. I'm just speculating, considering recent releases. Um, it's still early in the console's life, and considering how hard it is for people to get the console, um, I would. I'd imagine Capcom might allow it, but that's still an if and a maybe. So we'll see. But leave a comment section, ah, comments below. Tell me what you think of Resident Evil 8 so far. Um, any thoughts, concerns? Leave it down there below.
Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, so I've maxed out on all my units right now. Um, I've literally poured in as many as the game will let me- Nope. No, we don't want to fire on our own people. I know this is Poland, but we're not pulling that shit. Alright, um... So we got this dude, that dude. This is a VIP mission, unfortunately, so we have to retain... Uh... Like, we, we have to retain our three objectives. And try to focus fire on those... That looks like some kind of... Is that artillery? Hello. No, those are repair vehicles. Alright, well, same shit. Okay, it's all problems. Um, Alright, I guess we're good. Here's hoping. This is the big one. So long as we win this, we're golden. I wonder if this the second part of the campaign is going to take place after World War II. That looks like a transport vehicle. Probably transport. It's very likely transport. And oh my god, we are burning through both sides right now. Shit, 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 shit. I don't know what's hitting us, but we are getting ever so boned. Um. Oh! You know what was hurting us? And me? My own landmines. Because I forgot to tell my guys not to proceed forward. So I think two of our VIPs are dead. Our uh, barracks is doing its job. Um. It'd be nice if this cannon, you know, aimed the way I want it to. And not over there. Come on, run him over. Just push into him. He's gonna kill us. Well, at least dent his paint job. Uh, all right. So, how are we doing? Wow, we actually got air superiority. Holy shit! That might help us. That might. Uh, okay. So we have a bunch of infantry storming out. We still have artillery cannons rolling, so we might have lost our armor. But at the oh, actually, we still have some armor left. It's a lot more transports, I think. And we still have AT guys, too, so... Maybe, between the artillery, any planes that we have... It's all very much a maybe, especially with the cannons. Uh, let's see. Come on, come on. Can I not guide this? No, you can't. Oh, wow, okay, so... Huh. Kind of problematic. Okay, you're an ATR guy, so let's go use you. It'd be nice if this weapon had a scope, but granted, scopes haven't... I don't think scopes have been invented yet. Or at the very least, not the way some or most uh, firearms are used nowadays, so... What the hell's over here? Like, my guys are moving forward, but yet there's something over here. What'd you, what'd you guys find? Oh, hello. Hello! Are you friendly? I, okay, I got a hit. Catching up. Where's the bad guy, bad guy, bad guy, bad guy? Okay. I was about to say, I'm like, you know, this weapon's for, you know, to, oh, okay, I'm dead. Yep. Yep. Oh, fuck, we lost the barracks. Fuck. All right. Oh, this is very, 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 very iffy. Oh, I'm gonna be salty if I lose this fight. I'm gonna be really salty. Fuck. Because they just got to kill that last dude, and I think he got stuck. So, as long as they can't proceed forward, and... Yeah, maybe, maybe we can fight him off. So, you're sending an SMG dude after... Fuck. I don't even know what we have left. Ow. Okay. Um... God damn it. All right. I think there's bad guys over here. You guys are all dicks. I hope you know that. Damn it. Okay. Um. Why is the... Why are... Oh my god, you idiots. Yeah, we lost this. If we, by some miracle, win, I, I'm gonna be... I'm, I'm gonna be shocked. I'm gonna be shocked. I doubt it. I'm very doubtful because these guys are pulling to France and they're hiding on a fucking roof. Oh, grenade, grenade, grenade! Fuck! Oh, this slow piece of shit. Okay.
And this guy has a submachine gun, so he's probably gonna screw me big time. Fuck, 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 fuck. Come on, come on, come on. Idiot pulled out his knife. Uh, there should be bad guys around here somewhere. No, I gave up control. I did not want to do that. Okay. Hi! Hi! I don't like you. Uh, yeah, med kit, that's fine. It'd be stupid if the Molotov worked in the water. Oh, that's nifty! I just realized I managed to go underwater. You guys remember how I managed to put the tank underwater? It was a, uh, what do I call it? The Soviet submarine? Is this actually working? Why is the water burning? I, just, I really wanted to answer that question. Why does the water burn? Explain that shit to me. Okay. I love how I threw the Molotov to burn them. And I end up burning myself. Oh, what do you know? I led a charge, I guess. My guys are like, hey, we can do this now. Please tell me one of you ATR. I just saw that. Please. Please. Oh, SMGs! Hmm. Would have been nice if one of you bastards stayed nearby. Thanks for suddenly showing up, you dicks. Okay. This isn't very, very iffy fight. We might be able to pull this off, honestly, with how close it is. We've wiped out their infantry. It's just the tanks. Or rather, I don't even know what the fuck they are. I think those are... Oh, oh we're drowning now. Okay. Okay, so drowning is a thing. So it looks like maybe they fixed that. That's MG fire. That's not friendly. Uh, what do I have? I have this thing. We're just gonna beeline it through. Oh fuck! Fuck! No! 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 We're gonna patch up quick. Screw you! Screw you! I'm gonna go for that house, Lauren. I think that's a sniper shooting at me too. The hell is shooting at me? The hell are you? Oh, you're AA. That's why. That explains it. I seriously managed to kill a bunch of riflemen. Did that actually just happen? Uh, I need sticky. Do I have any more stickies? No, I don't. Okay. Uh, this weird pineapple grenade thing? No. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, I need another med kit. Real friggin' soon. Three, two, whoa, fuck. Got it. Okay. It'd be fun. It would be, I was about to say fun. It'd be great if one of my infantry guys were to show up, like, right now. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, son of a bitch. All right, where are guys? I, I, I'm stuck in the house. I'm stuck in the house. Where are my guys? I think they're drowning, figure out their life choices. Okay, so I've never used a sniper in this game before. Let's figure it out. Because I took out, the, I at least took out that uh, MG. So we're not going to have to worry too much about that. This is the longest fight I think I've ever done on this channel. This guy just, okay, I was about to say, he doesn't jump. It's kind of a problem for us. This may very all likely be a, oh! That's a problem too, he's out of ammo. Shit. Okay, we are not in good. We're not doing good. Oh, you guys are all assholes. Okay, just keep jumping. Just keep jumping. Just keep jumping. Now just start throwing. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, 
Oh my god, why is this working? Oh my god, why does this work? Wait for me to reload. Go, 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 go! Why is this working? Uh, wait, but we have no more bombs. Thirty rounds, Jesus Christ. Hi. Okay. I don't know how I'm gonna hurt this tank, so we're gonna figure this out. Oh! We won! Holy shit, that worked! Wow, okay, cool! Oh my god, I, I didn't think that was gonna work. Oh, those pro strats, Jesus Christ! Hey, buddy! No words can express our gratitude for the sacrifice of your soldiers. They didn't tremble when the Nazis crossed our border. They didn't tremble when they had to fight the Germans. A magnificent show of fighting spirit. Cool. Let's go to the next act. Let's see what this guy's got to say then. Poland will never settle for a life under oppression. Against all odds, we've ha we have to ah, counterattack, yes. We have offensive campaign ahead of us. You can achieve victory in different ways, but the number of missions played is key. No more than six. Within many, within many moves, you have to reach and win the final mission. Every battle, no matter what, if it ends in victory or defeat, counts as one turn. If you use all your moves, you will be awarded a minor victory. Major victory if you succeed in all four moves. A brilliant victory if you only use three. Wait, what? So this is a new game mechanic or something? Oh, so... I guess just steamroll all the way through, basically, is what they're saying. Um, Alright, cool. But that is where we're going to leave this one for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. If you liked it, leave a like. If you disliked it, dislike it. Leave those comments. And tell me know what you think in the comment section below. Um... If you guys want to see more Total Tank, or if I goofed up at all, uh, let me know. Let me know what I did. Um, but that is where we're going to leave it for. Uh, hit the bell icon to stay informed, and follow me on Twitter to do the same. Uh, please hit that bell icon, guys, because apparently, like I said, I've heard that from another content creator that apparently there's an issue within YouTube. or it re I don't know if they fixed it yet, but basically it might not be recommending my videos to you guys. So if you're subscribed, you may not see it. So hit the bell icon to stay informed. And I will see you guys around the next one. Thank you and have a good night.